35 hours to go. Until what? Speed dating. Oh, are you on about that again? You've got your knickers in a right twist, haven't you? Yeah, chill out, Laurel. I can't help it. I keep thinking I'm going to make a fool of myself with Ashley again. Right, well, I suppose you shouldn't get your hopes up, eh? Oh, no, don't worry. No stranger to disappointment. At your age, give over. Hey, yeah. Oh, still here. For the time being. It's still temporary with Sid, then, is it? Well, let's just say I'll do for now. Mm, nice. <laughs> Come on, Dad. Don't be so eager. You're about to be bowled out for a duck. Come on, then. Give me a chance. You wouldn't rush Darren Goff. Damn. Do you want to play or not? Look, your luck's in. Just got a touch of cramp, so why don't you go and set up that new computer game and I'll thrash you at that instead. OK. Well, for choice. Does Sid have any idea of what he's getting himself into? Such as? The fact that you can't keep your hands to yourself. Well, I learned that from the master. Only you made it easy for me because I didn't really care that much about you at the end. Oh, I see. So that's why he decided to cheat on me. One of my best mates, is it? Yeah, well, at least Sid wasn't having a psychotic episode when I slept with him. Oh, that's below the belt. Even for you. I'd say Sid must have been mad to take you on again. Yeah, well, I don't care what you say. Well, maybe I'm telling the wrong person. You are. Perhaps I should tell Sid that you're only with him until something better comes along. You wouldn't dare. <laughs> ah, this is the life. Complete freedom. No one to answer to. There's no such thing. <laughs> so young and yet so cynical. Haven't the events of the last few days taught you anything? Yeah. Don't do business with Eric Pollard. Ah, wrong. If I hadn't struck that ridiculous deal, I would never have met... a certain goddess. <laughs> oh, the beautiful Juanita. Yeah, I tell you from me, it's life from now on. In the words of the song, it's like vintage wine, from the brim to the dregs. Ah, oh, speaking of dregs. Hey, Eric. Business or pleasure? Is that a question or offer? Take it as you will. So you're ready to discuss buying your land back now? Well, who knows what might appear next, eh? <laughs> Perhaps I should give uh, Robblesfield Nature Society a call. What? Or the wildflower enthusiasts. <laughs> <laughs> Naturists, you fool. <laughs> Not naturalists. Middle-aged men flying around playing badminton in the nude. You better buy it back quick. Well, ten thousand pounds. I'd rather host a naked croquet tournament on the front lawn. Ah, <laughs> uh, now I thought you might say that. Uh, so, for the sake of our continuing goodwill, I've decided to reduce the price to seven thousand. Now, that is generous. Yes, I think so. You know, I could possibly find £5,000 in cash right now. Well, cash is always very agreeable. Yeah? <laughs> I could, but I won't. What? <laughs> well, go ahead. Open your new disc colony. It sounds fun. Live and let live. That's what I say, Eric. Have you thought about this? No, not really. But I'm sure I can find better ways to spend £5,000. I warn you, this is a one-time offer only. You'll be sorry. You know, Eric, somehow, I don't think I will. Here we are. Thanks. Thanks. What's a nice man like you doing in a place like this? What? You could ask that tomorrow. Could be one of your questions. Stop going about the damn speed dating. You know, the more you go on about it, the less likely I am to do it. You can't back out now. Yes, I can. As a matter of fact, I think I will. I can't face it. Face what? You're meeting men, not being thrown to the lions. Oh, don't be so sure. Anyway, you'll have big, bad Ashley Thomas there to protect you. Diane, don't be cruel. Well, Ashley going speed dating. I mean, it takes him three minutes just to say good morning. Are you sure I can't come and watch? It is not a spectator sport. In that case, you definitely have to go so you can come back and tell me about it. I know you're going to take this the wrong way, but I need you. 
It was only a matter of time. Back off, lover boy. I mean, I need your mechanical skills. I've never heard it called that before. I also need you not to be a clever dick. What's the problem? Smash one of my dad's taillights on his car. I don't even think about laughing. We haven't got much time. Paul's taking the old to get stuff for the party. I need it done by the time they get back. Well, when you ask so nicely. Rob. All right, but I don't accept checks. I don't even know if I've got enough for the parts. It's only a joke. Of course, it's a freebie. Thank you. I owe you one. I'm sure we can think of something. You always have to spoil it, don't you? Oh, found you. We're all set. We are? Speed dating. It's all booked. Ah, thank you. It's my pleasure. Now, if there's ever anything else... Well, well there is something. Yes. I wondered if you fancied having a... A bit of a practice. This three-minute date thing has me quite nervous. Oh, don't worry. You just have to have your key questions ready. My what? I'll guide you through. We'll have a full rehearsal in here, one o'clock. OK. Oh. <laughs> I thought you weren't going to do any work while Joseph were at home. Changed my mind. Well, he's after you for a game and his computer said you promised. Well, I'll... I'll do it later. And he said something about a cricket match and all. Look, I'm just not in the mood, all right? All right. So you're not in the mood for shoot 'em ups or cricket, but you're not making the most of your time with Joseph sat in here. Turns out I, I might not have as much time left as I thought. What do you mean? Chris? I was all set to bowl this morning. And when I tried, my... My arm just packed up on me. Right, well, let's get you to the doctors, then. The doctors already warned me that this might happen. I just sit outside on my own till I, till I got the feeling back like an idiot. You can't imagine how stupid I felt. I thought I'd have longer. I'm going to be saying that a lot in the next... however long, aren't I? Thought I'd have longer. I thought I'd have longer to watch my son grow up. I thought I'd have longer to make things up with Zoe. Watch my niece get to know her. I even thought I'd have longer to make my marriage work. What a fool I am. Is there anything I can help you with? No, oh, we've got it. Should see the get-up I've got for tomorrow. I am going to be hip and funky. <laughs> Shouldn't that be hysterically funny? Either way, we've got a laugh on. So what have you two been up to, eh? Nothing much. Just hanging around. I see. So, uh, you didn't do any repairs? No car maintenance. A little light work. How did you know? Oh, I told you. Your mother sees all, hears all. And knows all. And you left the box to the new light in the drive. <laughs> Listen, it was an accident, but it's all sorted now. Um, I take it's your handiwork. Well, it looked like a sound job to me. Me too. I might call on you next time Elaine decides to play Demolition Derby. Said it was an accident. I know. Just thank you, lucky stars, Robert was here to come to your rescue. I thought gentlemen were a dying breed. I've done the bathroom, the bedrooms and the landing. Can I leave you two to sort the rest out? Yeah, no problem. Why, where are you going? I've got to get ready. I thought you weren't speeding until tomorrow night. There's been a development. Ashley needs me. For what? We're going to have a practice date. Just me and him. Like the real thing. But lunchtime. Oh, so you're thinking... Better make hay while the sun shines. <laughs> <laughs> Carpe diem. That's what I say. <laughs> <laughs> Look, just tell me what help you need. That's what I'm here for. I don't want people wringing their hands over me. It's my job to help you. Joseph wanted to spend some other holidays with a friend of his on the coast. I want you to drive him there. I thought you wanted to spend some quality time with him. The events of this morning are hardly quality. Tomorrow it could be the other arm, both arms. I could go blind. Joseph could find me having a fit on the floor. So you're just going to send him away? I'm trying to keep things as normal as possible for my son. 
Can you understand that? Yeah, I suppose. Look, this is going to sound harsh, but... You might not have a choice soon. There's always a choice. Why not? And make it a large one. And Louise, have one for yourself. Thank you. Has the magic of Juanita lingered? Yeah, well, you could say that. Meeting her was definitely a good omen. In fact, it was my lucky charm. Uh, Seth, would you mind if I have a little look at this? Not yourself. And if Betty else are only looking at the pictures. <laughs> and I've got the itch. All right, I've been in if you've someone to scratch it with. Yeah, how about, uh, five grand? That should give you some relief. Ah, uh, look! Grand attraction! <laughs> now, tell me that's not serendipity. Grand attraction. Put it all on. <laughs> well, when you said you're five grand, I didn't expect you to hand it over. Yeah, well, it's my mad money. Mad's the word. It's the much you want to see of this. <laughs> I think you ought to get Seth a pint. I think he needs it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi. My name's Laurel. How are you this evening? Oh, oh, we're starting. Well, I thought I'd just launch myself straight into it. <laughs> You've even come in character, as it were. Well, I thought I'd make it as authentic as possible. You look very nice. Thanks. Right. Let's get started. Now, if you were a board game, what would you be? Uh, could you hang on? I've asked Louise to join us. I'd be Connect Four, because I like making connections. Did you, did you just say Louise? Laurel, hi. You're going to give us some tips? Ah, I'm no expert. <laughs> oh, false modesty. You're an old hand. We bow to your superior oh, yes. knowledge. <laughs> Our future happiness is in your hands. <laughs> hey, there were these kids in Whitford dressed in black, <laughs> wondering around looking for Dracula's castle. Mm. Has he? Oh, you should have seen them. They all look like they could do with a good meal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they thought vampires are real. Yeah, didn't you feel like putting on a bit of black eyeliner and joining in? <laughs> <laughs> Mark tragic. Don't know, same bit of a sad act to me. Yeah, well, it takes one to know one, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, come on, I don't know which one of you is the kid. <laughs> I want to talk to you. What about? Well... Madam here starts back at school next week, don't she? Oh, don't remind me. Then your point is? Well, shouldn't we be discussing buying school uniform and that? How would you know what she needs for school? You never went yourself. Well, look, will you stop talking about school? I'm still on the holidays. All right, OK. Well, um, let's go outside and talk about it then. I haven't finished with Debbie. Well, it'll only take a minute, you know, if you're reasonable with I don't it. want to. Yeah, well, it's not always about what you want, is it? It's always got to be on your oh, timetable, just give it a rest, it, eh? Look, that is enough. I do not want the pair of you rowing in my house again. Now, out! Out! Come on. Oh. Now, remember, you only have three minutes to impress. Still don't think it's long enough. I should imagine it can feel like an age if you're sat in silence. Mm -hmm. Now, can anyone think of a question? Um, what do you do for a living? It's a bit boring. Do you have any brothers and sisters? Try thinking outside the box. For instance, if you were a beverage, what would you be? <laughs> That's obvious. I'd be a cup of tea administered with a good dose of sympathy. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'd be a sophisticated glass of Chardonnay, dry, sharp and very affordable. It's <laughs> <laughs> very funny. You both get in the hang of it. How's Sid been in? Fred, not pet. Why, have you lost him? No, I just wanted to tell him something. Thanks. Worried, are we? Not at all. Well, you seem in a bit of a hurry to find Sid. Could it be that you're worried that I'll catch him first? Oh, why would you neck him? You couldn't scare me if you tried. Or maybe I've already spoken to him. And that's why he's avoiding you. Don't you ever show me up like that again. What? Let's go outside and talk about school uniforms. Even Debbie won't believe that. Yeah, well, it was the only way I could get you alone. You only get me alone when I want you to, do you hear me? And there's me thinking you handled things pretty well in front of Chris yesterday. Yeah, well, it wasn't easy. I hate seeing you with him. Well, I'm married to him, so get used to it. Oh, you call that a marriage? And what would you call it? A joke. 
He can't be much of an husband to a woman like you. You deserve more than that. And how would you know? Well, you and I haven't exactly been playing tiddlywinks the last few days. Strikes me what I've been giving you is what you've been missing. Oh, where do you get off? You know now about my marriage. It's pretty simple. I saw you, I wanted you, so I had you. If it stopped tomorrow, I'd have no regrets. Oh, there you go. Some company for you. And what are you doing back? You're supposed to be banished. I've gone away. And I thought about what I did, and I'm sorry. Sorry? You don't know the meaning of the word. Perhaps I'll explain it to you. Hey! hey oh, no, no. Off, leave him alone, or I'll be the one throwing the punches! What's got him in a strop? It's a long story, too long to spend talking to you. Are right, you going to give me a chance to apologise, please? I, I mean, I, I know what I did was unforgivable. I, I was selfish and um, spineless. All right, it's... all right, I get the picture. Why not just try? I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Sorrier than any man before me or since. Oh, Shadrach, why don't you just quit while you're ahead? You can stay. Oh, hey, but you're not going in the house. You can bed down with Amish in the shed. I don't want to see you, I don't want to hear you, and I certainly don't want to smell you. <sighs> For you. Well, I'm glad you found me. I've decided to stay with you. Oh, you've decided that, have you? Good for you. Oh, don't be like that. Just had a lot of stuff to sort out. And do you know what else I decided? Go on. I do love you. That's all I needed to hear. Mm. Mm. Didn't he turn up? No, he was there. And? And Louise. Nicola was right. I'm on a hiding to nothing. That sour-faced little madam, what does she know? When you never see her with a fella. He's gonna think I'm some sort of desperado who can't get a date. And I'm gonna look stupid again. So you'll feel that for a bit, but you'll get over it. But you'll get three golden minutes to set him straight. Now, you really would be daft to turn that down. Crack open the champagne! I'm celebrating! <laughs> it never in this world won. It was poetry in motion. You jammy beggar! That's what I said. Uh, five grand at seven to one. He's jamming the tart factory in. Eric, would you care to join the happy throng? Actually, I came in here for a quiet drink, if you don't mind, Rodney. Not at all. A toast to luck, life and love. The whole scheme at Leeds is costing over £165 I'm back. How was Joseph? Happy as a sand boy. Good. That's how I want to keep it for the time being. Whatever. Look, I'm uh, going to get something to eat. Do you want out? Well, I'm having a liquid lunch. Oh, no. We're not going down that road again. What do you think you're doing? Saving you from yourself. This is not going to get your head together, is it? It's about time you got off your fat and started getting things sorted. Well, when you put it like that, it makes the little matter of a brain tumour inconsequential. Oh, no, hang on a minute. No, it doesn't. Do you know, you sound like Debbie. Should we start acting like adults? Look, I know what you're going through is bad. Terry Woods, master of the understatement. Well... Well, the worst thing I can imagine. God knows what's going to happen to you in the next few months. The silver lining is where... OK. You've fallen out with Zoe and Charity's not in your best books, but... Well, at least you've got a chance to sort it. Make it right. I bet most people's last words are... I wish I had. Well, your last words could be, thank God I did. And how do you suggest I sort it? Well, you're not even trying. Zoe will have calmed down by the time she's got back, and charity, well, charity's easy. Easy? It's not usually a word associated with my wife, not the way you mean it, anyway. See, there you go again, looking for the negative.
I mean, you don't even know for a fact that she's having an affair with Kane. There's been a lot going on in your head lately. Not the best turn of phrase. No. Sorry. I, I still think that the illness is making you so paranoid. Mood swings. They're a symptom. There I was, thinking I was my usual congenial self. Well, you're hardly a the glass is half empty sort of bloke, are you? I mean, you're more the, the glass is empty and it was probably full of spit any road. Which, when you come to think about it, is ironic, really. Cos you're loaded. You've got a great son. Beautiful wife. I appreciate your honesty. They did say. Hey, why don't you join us at the bar? My dad's feeling generous and who knows how long that'll last. No, thanks. You're not still winding yourself up about Ashley and this speed dirty. I can't get him out of my head. When will you learn? You've had months to impress him. What difference is three minutes going to make? Cos it's going to be my three minutes without any interruptions from parishioners or barmaids. I don't care what you say. I'm going to go for it. You're setting yourself up for a fall. I'm going to get straight back on my feet. I know I could make Ashley very happy. And that can only be a good thing. And I don't care how long it takes, but... I'm going to make him see. Are you going to wish me luck? I suppose so. Good. Right. Any more champagne left? Because I feel like celebrating. 